Who Would Win? A game of beastly battles based on the Scholastic book series, Who Would Win? Presented by P.E. with Mrs. V. Directions. In this game, you need to decide who you think would win in each Battle of the Beasts. You will be given a few facts to help you decide. There really is no wrong or right answers, just your best guess. After your guess, do the exercise behind the beast you chose as the winner. Have fun, and let's hope we never see some of these beasts up close. Who would win? Wolverine vs. Tasmanian Devil. Wolverines are hardy predators, known for their ferocity and strength. They're unafraid to hunt and tackle animals larger than themselves. Tasmanian Devils will eat pretty much anything they can get their teeth on. And when they do find food, they are voracious, consuming everything, including hair, organs, and bones. Yuck. win Komodo Dragon vs King Cobra. Komodo Dragon has venom and dangerous bacteria in their mouths. They trap their prey with their sharp, jagged teeth. King Cobras have venomous fangs with enough venom in one bite to kill an elephant, and they swallow their prey whole. win the rattlesnake versus the secretary bird. Rattlesnakes are carnivores that can hunt in darkness by detecting body heat. They are venomous and can grow to be 8 feet long. Secretary birds hunt on foot and can walk up to 20 miles in one day. They are also known to kill snakes by stomping on them. win lion versus tiger. Lions average weight are 500 pounds. Female lions hunt with their pride. They're not very smart and a male lion's mane helps protect its neck. Tigers average weight is 650 pounds. They hunt alone and are considered to be very clever and sneaky. win Hammerhead vs. Bull Shark. Hammerhead uses its wide head to trap stingrays by pinning them to the sea floor. Hammerheads can scan more area more quickly than any other sharks because of their wide set eyes. Bull sharks have a bite force 
greater than a great white. They have no known natural predators, except for humans. Would win tarantula versus scorpion. Tarantulas are usually the size of your hand, but they can get as big as a dinner plate. They have poisonous fangs and are carnivores that hunt for their prey. Scorpion have a stinger with poison that paralyzes its prey. They have two claws that can bite, but they are not hunters. They wait for their food to come to them. Who would win, killer whale versus great white shark? Killer whale has 54 inch long teeth, can swim up to 30 miles per hour, lives and hunts in a family pod, and they are extremely smart. Great white sharks have several rows of jagged razor sharp teeth, usually swim slowly, but can have bursts of up to 20 miles per hour. They swim alone and are not so smart. Would win polar bear versus grizzly bear. Polar bears are the largest of all the bears. They live in very cold climates and eat mostly seafood. Grizzly bears have claws that are four inches long. They are diggers. They live in the woods and eat anything they can find. Would win. T Rex versus Velociraptor. T Rex is an all round giant. Giant body, giant teeth, giant claws. About 40 feet long and 13 feet high. A Velociraptor is much smaller. Built for speed, light bones, it's probably sneaky. Not much bigger than a third grader.
Who would win? Alligator versus Python. Alligators have about 80 teeth at a time. Their bite force is 2,000 pounds. They never stop growing and can get to be about 15 feet long. Pythons were first brought to America as pets. They bite and constrict their prey. They can grow over 20 feet long and are very good climbers. Would win rhino versus hippo. The rhino is the second largest land animal in the world. They can communicate with different sounds. They're herbivores with no known predators except for humans. Hippos are the third largest land animal in the world behind the rhino. They can run up to 30 miles per hour and are known to be one of the most dangerous animals in all of Africa. Lobster versus crab. Lobsters never stop growing. They eat other lobsters when they're really hungry. Then they have a dominant side, just like humans. Crabs eat both meat and plants. They're omnivores. If they lose a claw or a leg in a fight, it will grow back. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the show. For more Who Would Win matchups, visit your library and check out one of the other Who Would Win books. Thanks to the librarians at Tisco who showed those books to me in the first place. If you enjoyed this activity, please subscribe to PE with Mrs. and B. Have a great day!